Hi friends, welcome to the Digital Graphic Designer YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn that how to apply dripping paint effect to any image in Corel Draw. So without wasting a time, let's get started. First of all, go to the file menu and click on import. The import window will pop up. Then choose the file from the location you want to import. For this effect, we need one image on which we apply the dripping paint effect that is subject image. Then we need a dripping paint image to apply on the subject image and the last we need a splatter paint image to enhance our effect. The subject image on which we are going to apply the dripping paint effect is downloaded from pexels.com and you can download dripping paint image and splatter paint image from the internet easily. Now select the subject image and the other images and click on import. Now drag the cursor to import the images. Place the image to the center of the page and for that press P from the keyboard it will automatically place the image to the center of the page. For some time put these images aside because we need to remove the background of this subject image first and to remove the background of this image go to the toolbar and click on Bezier tool. Now just create outline around the subject image. You need not to be very perfect because we can adjust it later. Just create an outline. I have changed the color of the outline that you can see easily how we are going to work on the outline. In the next step, we need to adjust this outline according to the subject in the image. And for that, go to the toolbar and click on shape tool. Now drag it and select all nodes of the outline and then go to the property bar and click on convert to curve button. Now click outside. Then click on the outline, select the nodes one by one and with the help of these handles you can adjust curve according to the subject in the image. After you completing the selection and the adjustment of the outline, right mouse click on the image and then choose power clip inside. Target this arrow to the outline. You can see background of the image is removed. Now with the subject image selected, go to the color palette, right mouse click on the first swatch and choose set outline color. It will remove the outline from the image and the image looks like a PNG image. Quick note, if some areas of the image remain to be removed, then you can go to the toolbar, click on Bezier tool, select those areas like we selected before, then go to the toolbar again, click on shape tool, select all nodes, go to the property bar, then click on convert to curve button and then cusp node button. Then select the nodes one by one 
and adjust the curve. After completing your selection of the unwanted part of the image, hold shift from the keyboard, click on outline and the image. Then go to the property bar and click on trim button. It will remove the unwanted part of the image you want to remove and then click on the outline and delete it. Now you can see the image without background. Now select the dripping paint image. Remember this image should be a vector image not a raster image. If it is not a vector image then with selected this image go to the bitmap menu click on convert to bitmap. Convert to bitmap menu property bar will pop up and then set the resolution to 300 dpi and color mode to RGB then hit ok. Now go to the property bar click on trace bitmap button now select outline trace and then go to the detailed logo it will take some time now adjust the detail smoothness and the corner smoothness of the image these values may be different and vary according to the image you are working with make sure that the remove drop down box none is selected then hit ok now delete this original image right mouse click on the vector image and click on ungroup all now delete this color image select the background image group it and place it on the subject image adjust it according to the size of the subject image now select the subject image and the dripping paint background with holding shift from the keyboard and then go to the property bar and click on trim button then delete the dripping paint background image you can see the dripping paint effect on your image it looks awesome now in the next step we are going to create a background for this image and for that go to the toolbar and click on rectangle tool create a rectangle behind this image press P from the keyboard to place this rectangle to the center of the page and then fill it with black color and press shift plus page down to send it behind the image in the next step to enhance our effect take the splatter image adjust its size and set this splatter image to the behind of the image we can add one more effect to enhance the image and for that go to the toolbar click on rectangle tool drag to create a rectangle on the page now go to the toolbar again click on interactive fill tool then from the property bar select fountain fill we can see the color nodes here click on first color node and then change its color to red and then click on the second node color and change its color now go to the toolbar and click on transparency tool then from the merge drop down box change the blending mode from normal to overlay you can see the effect on the image if you think that the image is more saturated you can adjust its opacity and for that go to the toolbar click on transparency tool and then click on uniform transparency it will adjust the saturation automatically you can also adjust the saturation or opacity manually the awesome dripping paint effect on your image is ready now enjoy your effect so friends if you like the video please like the video comment and please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to get notified with our latest videos and for more tutorials visit our website pixeldesign.com thank you